Hello friends, welcome to the Electric Group Design Engineering YouTube channel. This is our lecture number 14 of our free course ETAP. In this lecture, we will see, uh, we will take an example and calculate the cable size using ETAP. The example is, we will take this example and this is the power grid and this is the cable and this is the lump load of 2 by 2 MV8 and we will, we will have to calculate this cable size. Before starting today's lecture, please subscribe the channel, like the sh uh, like and share the videos on your social media profiles. This is our ETAB window and we will first of all enable online auto build tab and then also we will also enable the this that no no that is one we should also enable Why it's this this one that is jug circuit connectivity okay this is the grid that is the power grid and this is the bus this is the cable and this will be the another bus and this will be the number load uh, okay I will zoom it for you this one now we will take it 11 kv we wait can double how we reach this window you can double killing that bus okay one zone up and when you double kill it right 11 kv and clip okay now check the grid voltage go to the rating rating gives I write it under one KV. I click OK. Now go to this one. That is second bill. Bus. Right also under one KV. And click OK. Then double click the number load. And go to the name penetrating. In the name penetrating, write it voltage under one KV. And load of 2.2 as we okay and power factor here they will take the power for 80 okay and click okay now how we select the cable size we should double click the cable and when we double click the cable it will open the cable editor first of all first of all is this that info page here in the info page you will uh, this is the length tab and uh, you should enter the lengths suppose we will enter 200 then in the library on clicking the library you will get this window this is the library uh, where you can select your cable okay i am using the here the in india we are using the 50 kilohertz so we will take 50 hertz frequency and we want to use the aluminum conductor or copper conductor suppose i want to use the copper conductor okay and the voltage rating is 11 kv for my system so we can take the 11 kv okay i want to use the insular xlp cable okay now i will select the three core cable suppose i should select this three core cable and size 120 this is the size page and click ok now go to the physical page in the physical page this is the type of conductor you can select whether what type of conductor you want standard, routed or whatever you want this is the shield whether you want the shield shielded cable or not this is the armorer and this is the sheet suppose i will use the lead sheet and this is the unloaded grounded sheet this is the jacket that you want to xlp jacket or pvc or whatever the insulation jacket you want and this is the standard we will use the different standard but first of all this is here uh, and then we will go to the 
capacity page. In the capacity page, we will use the standard. I will stick with the standard here. IEC 60502. Okay. Now the deriving factor has been calculated as on the basis of these things. I will suppose take it 3 and I will take it a 2. Okay, one row. We are on the capacity page. Um, and I will take the depth of cable 1 meter below the ground. You can already that the rating factor has been calculated. We are going to take your operating temperature to 40 and 90. Okay. Then we will go to the production page. In the production page, this is a short circuit tab. You have to enter the short circuit details or when you perform the short circuit details and then listen, these things will automatically get added up. But we can use also a user definer. I will take it randomly. 42. Okay. And 32. I am taking randomly. I am not taking which one is maximum, which one is third. I am taking it randomly. Well, calculated. I will take it to point view. Seconds. That is the time of the short circuit. Okay. I click OK. And then go to the uh, capacity protection. Then loading. Nothing is in the loading. Now we will go for the sizing. You will see here. First of all, you can note here that only one size of cable has been be mentioned till now. And we perform the load flow analysis. It will show two types of one is the optimal size, another is the small size. You will show all these things. We can now the code the load flow analysis. There, this is the ask part. We will write it to show given size. Stamp. Okay. Okay. These are the details for cable size here. Well, now we will go to the file. And you can see there is one circuit C to show that uh, 25 square mm of cable is section, but two runs are needed. Okay. What do we can do? I can do one thing. Okay. Enter this and click, uh, click the cable loading capacity. I click OK. Now, First of all, we will show you one thing why I have done this. Because in loading, nothing has been over here mentioned. No loading impairs are mentioned here. Now we have to take the cable loading. Now we only perform the load flow analysis and it will get completed. Okay, now we will see here. Well, uh, loading. Now you have got the values, 125 point in that, okay. Here. Now, suppose I will increase the length, I will take it 300 or 500. Okay, and for fun, I give the load flow. Let's just open, nothing has been happened. I want to actually now, now we will take it three kilometer per second. I have changed this in kilometers, and we will take it at three kilometer per Okay, and perform the load flow analysis. You can see now the voltage drop has been increased. First it was ninety nine point something. Now it is ninety eight ninety eight point eight six. Now we will see what is the sizing what the sizing shows now the sizing shows two one is the optimum size that 70 square and another is the one smaller size so in 70 square you have to use the two, uh, two circuits 
and one is the smaller size that is 50 square mm and after calculating one after the one seven now we will apply the power fit function also and click ok and then perform the load flow analysis now we will see what will happen what will be the size in our now the sizing is same there is no much difference in sizing and we will also apply the short circuit condition also okay and apply and now we will see what will happen in the sizing page now the sizing is showing that it needs the optimal two number per phase the two circuit is size is 240 square ml capacity is this and uh, this is the one smaller size, one for 185. You see, two sides are the one is the optimal size, another that is the smaller size. And with this voltage drop, that is part two percent, you will go up to 5.23 kilometers of length. I want to suppose I want a one percent of voltage drop in my circuit. For that, it will you can go up to for only for 2.2 kilometers. And now I will check OK and perform the low flow and list again. OK. Now we will also see we can go for increasing the load. Suppose we want a load, we have a load of uh, 3 kilometers and click OK. And now perform the load flow. Now, what is the condition? What is the size of our sizing page showing? Uh, what sizing page is showing that you need to, we have to use up the three circuits. And it, this shows that you need the optimal size of two circuits. You do not need a three set. Okay, two number of per third phase. With this voltage, you can go up to with 1% voltage time, you can go up to 1.79. Okay, well, now I will show one thing. When our cable size is and not bearing the load current or it is overloaded, how it will be represented. Now, when you click the double click on the load, uh, lump load editor and open the lump load editor, we can change here the name uh, palette. We will take now 5.5. First, first was it 3. Point something. Now we have changed it to 5 5 and click OK and perform again the load slope analysis. Now you can see in the figure that this cable is showing the red color. That means there is some alert in this cable. We can check here. In the alert cable 1 is overloaded. That means the size you selected is not appropriate. We have to increase your size. And also rating current. Rated all limited rating is that much 197. Operating is your operating your current is 293.88. Uh, percentage of operating you have 149. That is why 49 you have uh, overloaded in this cable and this is a three plus connection. Now what we can do we can go to the sizing page and in the sizing page this is the show thing at 240 this is the optimal size and this is the one smaller size we can select the optimal size and for with this optimal size the maximum for one person voltage drop we can go up to 3.3 kilometers we have taken it five kilometers so what can we can do now we can go to the info page 3.3 okay it is okay again the size is 3. Point is showing 3.3 oh and for our load on this again now the alert is going on and you will see yet what it is 100 percent it is 99.12 percent all the conditions are satisfied this is the appropriate cable size thank you